<clears throat> Greetings and salutations, it is I, Serene Sai, and we are back with some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we had a funny little mishap when Silene apparently freaked out because there was a worm on the floor. I can't express how it was, <laughs> that was just a random scene and I found it hilarious. So we are heading to Alabaster Icelands, and uh, we get stopped by these two. So, we're to make for the Alabaster Icelands? That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should be even getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Sai out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in his frequency like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't understand yet when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether the frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter their states in the first place, or if this all is connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it? I wonder what the, that the commander hopes will come out about from quelling the nobles. Or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is? Oh, so you're painting him as the bad guy right now. I'm assuming he's trying to protect everyone, but I want to say a way to coexist. I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Lavington? Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly little sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Sai? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'd better not. I may not be able to beat you, but there's always something to learn from seeing how battle unfolds between different Pokemon. So she just says that regardless. And I have to battle her. I'm just glad I get the opportunity to battle you again. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member works together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Yeah, I still can't do a female's voice. Whatever. You have a Mr. Mime? Oh, you stepping it up? We have Luxray, though, so... What's your Mr. Mime gonna do, huh? What's your... Ah, hypnosis. Hey, hey. Bad girl. Bad. Anyway, uh, strong style crunch while I. Oh. Uh. That was kind of dope. I wish I was looking at it instead of looking at you. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh no, that's not bad. He's setting up on me. Alright, he, he set up pretty good. It's okay. You know what? We're gonna send the super. We're gonna stab the stab super affected Pokemon. You're not outspeeding Crobat. All right, you are level 46. I need to train. The next, uh, in in between, I gotta train. <laughs> it was a crit. What are you gonna do about it? You can't beat the crits. Big Ashu. Whoa, 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 whoa! Crobat, no. You know what? I'm gonna be stupid. Go <laughs> goodbye. I'm sure a quick attack will kill, but it's my turn. So let's do a strong style bulldoze. Cause you're weak, Pikachu. <laughs> it's a star avia. No, please, I'll protect you. Oh, that did nothing. I don't have anything stabbed. Why do you have that? That was dope to look at, but now I gotta revive you. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to... I guess Samurai's just gonna have to tank. I believe Samurai can tank one hit items. I should have a max revive, because I want... Out of everyone, I want Goodbite to get the most experience. And I do hardly believe a seamless edge will kill. 
Look at that, reliving. Please, please. No, no, no one get another turn. Okay, you lose. Same as Edge. We tanking. We're also getting super far behind with these levels. I gotta, I gotta get on that. It's just been tough because I guess I, I forget I had to be in the place with the high levels in order to get Pokemon. Akari, you almost wrecked me. I am not a fan. You guys had new moves to teach people. About your mission in Iceland. Well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Iceland forthwith. See you there, my boy. You all really wrecked the heck out of me. Can we not? I guess I'll go there. We'll set up camp and I'll just take a nap. So I wonder what that spot is. There's a spot between where the fishing place was. And there. This is what I have a lot of exploring to do. This is crazy. This game is just becoming more expanded. Thank you. I need that. You still look worried, Mr. Lavington. My word. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. You're chilly and I have short sleeves on. Very few venture to these Alabasta Icelands, apart from Taukula... Not pronouncing that, leading the odd supply corps excursion to gather materials. But the survey corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalok, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission will tackle Avalok be a dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Iteran, Erida, and Adam, and try to hide and keep yourself safe. If I could read, I'd be elite. Sai, isn't it brisk out here? I want to heal my Pokemon, man. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm... If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to what we're heading. She has, he has a point. You're wearing short sleeves. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not Almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're heading to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalok's Ev legacy, obviously. Where else but a mass, great mass of ice could have, I have? I can't even read. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Sai? So I just want to point out that I'm... Sure, stump off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalok's Levisy, Sai. Take care on your way. Okay, so it, uh, apparently I just can't think. Um, the reason that they're talking like that is due to the fact that... Uh, I went into this game purely forgetting that diamond and pearl were a thing, and um, you know, is that a snor- <gasps> Give me a- give me a dawnstone. This little piggy forgot to buy pokeballs. I kinda broke. I just don't have any potions. I kinda broke. Yeah. Let's try that again. Hey, little bud. You're so cold. It's okay, bud. It's okay. A. A. Let's go. I want that. Am I tripping? Wait, I didn't catch you? Get over here. Get caught, bro. I guess I gotta go around. I can't jump that. Yeah, I died. I died. I died. I died. Oh, okay. I have to go through here. <laughs> Some reason I thought it would be a good idea. Oh, yeah, I could just—I could have just used Sneasler to climb back up there. But hey, 
We here on the Serene side channel like to do things the hard way because we don't use our brain. This is another gap. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. What Pokemon are here? Oh, Baneary. Why are you running? Where are you running to? I missed. I missed and now it's gone. I'm getting very sidetracked. I will see you guys when I get there. Well, oh, that's not you. You look familiar too. Well, that was a real slog. Fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalon's warden and my honorable teacher, Garrick. So show some respect, Adamin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Sai, right? Of the Galaxy team? Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? I was commanded to. That leads to my question. What is wrong with him being Frenzies? It could trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside my any orders, what is it that your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Our mighty has nothing to do... Oh. Our mighty Lord of the Tundra Avalug has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, Avalug's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our Pokemon from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who would... Uh, I... I That's not. Alright, you can do that. Alright, so... Honestly, I'm going to go do a whole grinding montage. So... Okay, I did not know you guys were aggressive. Jesus. So, um, when I get done grinding, I'm going to try and grind all my Pokemon to level 50. Except for, obviously, the ones that are trailing behind. And then when I get there, we will... Hopefully we'll be good, but I will get back to you when I get to that point. It's going to be a long thing to record. See you then. Alright, and we are finally back. That took a lot longer than I needed to, but everyone is healed up, so let's battle this guy. No, not with, not with Gardevoir in front. Battle with Luxray instead. Yeah, I just hope my computer has no space for all this, because I made a mistake of recording all that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we definitely made the right choice in changing. Alright, so his ace is that, so I'm going to wild charge the glilly. BAM! Oh, we didn't kill it? No! Well, goodbye, Luxray. Maybe? Ice Shard's not a strong move. Yeah. If he used anything but Ice Shard, I would have been scared, but I knew the Frost Last was going to kill us. So we are just going to Night Slash. As you can't be surviving that. I just had a really good feeling that he would j No, it's not very effective, man. We're just going to Ceaseless Edge. <clears throat> that damage! Incredible! Alright, Oshawa, you get a level. That's not an Oshawa anymore. Outstanding! 
I'm tough as an iceberg, and you've smashed me through and through. I suppose you can all get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Sally, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalok's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and brings it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll need to be able to fly, which means you need bravery. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we wasted puzzling out what you mean. Is Navalo one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Mike ranks right, or at least height. And, uh, about Sabi. How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with barriers, she got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her, head towards Snowpoint Simple. You'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi? My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi. And let me focus on my workout while well, I still can. Eh. Sneasler. Sneasler? Hello? Ah, gotta go this way. Huh. Weird ear, you're making us all look bad. So, can I just get it, please? Hello, my name's Sabi. Nice to meet you, Sai. The pleasure's all mine. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're going to be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Burberry's help so you can quote Avalok's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Burberry. See, he's a little bit of a hassle, but I guess a deal is a deal. How the hell? Oh. I'm like, give me a marker, please? I'd like to know where this woman transported to. So Sabi is a ch Okay, so I definitely need Sneasler to get up there. Is that an Abra? I wholeheartedly thought that was an Abra. I'm really just... I won't catch one, but they're like... Not easy to catch. Sneasler. And after this, I do. <laughs> We're not gonna pretend we didn't see that. I saw it. Hello. I'm behind you. Didn't expect that, did you? Sigh. You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me, or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. Hmm. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next top of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm. What an annoying side quest they put in here. I'm not, and I'm enjoying myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a big smile on my face. Yes. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Okay. 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 We almost died. It's okay, though. Now we gotta go. Yo, Snowpoint Temple? Oh, 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 you 
see what I lost. I'm not happy. Thank you for the rescue. I'm not happy about that at all, in the slightest. I'm, I'm quite sad. Alright, perilous journey done. Hi again, Sai. It's nice having someone new out here to play with, safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Storeboy Temple. I've opened the door in front of you, just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question is, am I really having fun, or am I bored? I heard what Warden Sabi says. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. Alright, so for the sake of this video, I'm probably going to fight the Warden in the next one. Get through this, get the Braviary, and then fight the Warden in the next one. Hey, really pushing my memory game. We will not be catching that Galeed. I want it. gonna be an annoying episode to edit. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with bravery. Do you think that'll come to pass? I don't know. Well, however the future turns out, flying with bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Excuse me, what? <sighs> this ain't right, bro. This ain't right. This just ain't right. The very least I can take out the, the right period. The issue comes with the darn Electivire. Jesus. So Electivire. Yeah, that's gonna... Ooh, wait, no, we living. Okay. We live in that too, so it doesn't even matter. We live in that, alright. Now I can swap out into Luxray and Wild Charge the Mag Mortar. Everyone's getting XP here. Let's go! Gonna use two thunder punches? That's not even effective, bro. And finally, we're gonna give my bite some love. He's had love, but he can have some more love. Bulldoze. Strong style. You're not a Pikachu, but I, I believe wholeheartedly that you can KO this thing. That battle was kind of terrifying. I just heard three big names and I was scared. Wow, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. But Freewee still wants to even know you better. Up to the roof we go. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, we are going to just get this bravery and end the episode. I'm sorry it's been like a jumbled mess. I did not know what to expect. And this was certainly enlightening. Uh, I've been recording for an hour, so it sucks. That design looks pretty sick, though. I won't even lie. All right, Bravia, you want to test out size strength for yourself? I'll bring out my own flying bird. It's not a bird, it's a bat. He's pretty big, too. Cross poison. You're, you're pretty strong. But I trained. I don't like how that did nothing, by the way. He agile roosted. Can we talk about this, please? And he hits a hurricane. Alright. I believe if I send out Luxray and Wild Charge, I Oko. But I also possibly kill myself. Luxray, I believe in you. Let's go! Don't kill yourself, please. Damn it. I put a gamble out there. We could have leveled up. Grr. I can't believe bravery loss. But that's what. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll go home now. Bye. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Imagine if they, like, if they coded, like, a different flute cry every single time that you were calling a bird. Because, like, in my opinion, it doesn't really make sense that every single different one reacts to the same sound. Because the last thing you need is a Basculesian jumping onto the, <laughs> on the earth trying to help you. And we got the Skoy Plight. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, having Cytofly around with should be fun. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where Pokemon and Poke or a world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think it's a ritual it's putting us to? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and we quote the last noble, calm Avalug, then the rift will really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, no one of us who would have been living in Hirsu here in ages, I can't speak. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamin. Hush, Sabi. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you, or bore you to tears? Hmm. Anyway, Sai, it's time to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why we needed Braviary in the first place, right? Avalug's legacy is down there. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. <sighs> well, this is going to be Serene Sai signing off. And you know what? Let's get some more altitude. Alright. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this is dope. This is dope right here. Well, unfortunate part, I don't think I can battle anything up here, and I did see a Magnezone in one of my episodes, so I hope that we can figure all that out stuff out. However, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um... 
Hopefully it comes out pretty good. I gotta cut so much and it's gonna be annoying. Um, but with what I cut, it's probably gonna be like, hopefully the max is gonna be a 30 minute video. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it fascinated you. We finally have all the Pokemon and we're about to quell the next beast in the next episode. So um, prepare for that. I'm definitely gonna be training Mons and whatnot, completing the Pokedex a little bit. So hopefully my Mons will be higher level and I will see you in the next one. This is Serene Sai signing off. Bye-bye.